Hello everyone, welcome to 10 Minute Physiology. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a short explanation as to how smooth muscle cells contract. So with that, let's give it a go. So the first step in initiating contraction is going to be the increase in calcium inside the cytosol. So we increase the calcium concentration in cytosol by a process called excitation contraction coupling. So if you don't know what that is, I have a video called excitation contraction coupling in smooth muscle cells. That'll tell you how the calcium is going to increase in the cell. But anyways, the first step in initiating contraction is going to be an increase in calcium. Now, in order to initiate contraction, you need a specific protein called calmodulin. So calmodulin has four binding sites, and each of these binding sites is going to bind to one calcium ion. So you have the four calciums coming into the calmodulin binding to it. Now after the calmodulin binds to all its calcium, this is going to cause a conformational change. And when it does this, the calmodulin can interact with another protein called myosin light chain kinase, or MLCK. So what happens is this calmodulin moves over to myosin light chain kinase and opens up its binding site. So this binding site here is going to bind to two things. The first thing is it's going to bind to myosin in the thick filaments. And the second thing is it's going to use ATP in order to phosphorylate myosin. So let's see how this occurs. So just as a reminder, this is the thick filament and this is the myosin. So the myosin, the first part of it, is going to be the head. This is where the ATPase activity is. And remember, ATPase activity is required for contraction. The next part is going to be the tail regions of the heavy chains. The next region is going to be the hinge region. And the other two regions are going to be the light chains, one of which is the regulatory light chain. So basically, MLCK is going to use ATP in order to phosphorylate the regulatory light chains on myosin. And when these are phosphorylated, this is going to cause a number of effects. So the first effect is, this, is that it's going to increase the angle between the head and neck domain. The second effect, which is the most important, is it's going to increase the ATPase activity of the head. This is what allows contraction to occur in smooth muscle cells. And the third effect is that it's going to allow myosin to efficiently interact with actin. So remember that contraction in smooth muscle cells cannot occur until MLCK increases the ATPase activity of myosin. And this whole process is a slow process. So what are some other effects of the calmodulin calcium complex? So one of the important effects is going to be that it is going to activate a specific enzyme. So calcium calmodulin can interact with an enzyme and activate it. And this enzyme is called CAMK2. So CAMK2 is going to phosphorylate a specific protein called calponin. So calponin is a protein that is on the thin filaments and it binds to actin and tropopion myosin. And basically its role is that it's a regulatory protein. So it's basically responsible for tonically inhibiting the ATPase activity of myosin. So effectively, calponin is going to inhibit contraction. So when the calcium calmodulin complex activates this enzyme, what happens is, is the enzyme is going to phosphorylate calponin and will basically relieve its tonic inhibition on the ATPase activity. Another effect of calcium calmodulin is that it can bind to calponin. Now, both the binding of calponin and the phosphorylation of calponin are going to remove its inhibition on ATPase activity. So this is another way in which the calcium calmodulin complex is going to cause contraction. So how is contraction terminated? Now, because the contraction is initiated by the phosphorylation of the thick filaments, the removal of calcium is not going to be enough in order to produce relaxation. It's going to require something else. And this thing is myosin light chain phosphatase. So myosin light chain phosphatase will remove the phosphates from the thick filaments and therefore decrease its ATPase activity, which will therefore promote relaxation. So in order to promote relaxation, you have to remove the phosphates on the myosin proteins. So in summary, we basically talked about three things today. So the first thing that we talked about is how 
contraction occurs in smooth muscle. And here is a summary of all the steps. We, we then talked about how the calcium calmodulin complex interacts with regulatory proteins like calponin. And then lastly, we talked about how contraction is terminated. So I hope this video helped you understand how contraction occurs in smooth muscle. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.